Let's explore the Entity Relationship Model, a conceptual data model used for database design. It's all about visualizing how data is structured and related. We will cover entities, attributes, and their relationships. An entity is a real-world object or concept that can be distinctly identified. Consider it a fundamental building block, represented as rectangles in entity relationship diagrams. An entity can be physical like a person or a car, or conceptual like an account or a course. Each entity has a unique identity, and entities of the same type form an entity set. For example, student, course, and book. Entities can be strong or weak. A strong entity exists independently of other entity types. For example, a student department or a product. A weak entity depends on the existence of another entity type. Examples include a bank transaction, an exam question, or a dependent. In an ER diagram, strong entities are represented with a single rectangle, while weak entities are represented with a double rectangle. An attribute is a property or characteristic that describes an entity. Attributes are represented as ovals in entity relationship diagrams, connected to their entity by a line. Primary key attributes are underlined. Each entity instance has specific values for its attributes. For example, student entity have attributes like name, student ID, age, and address. Attributes come in different types. A simple attribute has atomic values that cannot be divided further, like age, ID, gender, or date. A composite attribute can be divided into smaller subparts, such as name or address. A multi-valued attribute can have multiple values for a single entity, like phone numbers, skills, or degrees. Finally, a derived attribute's value is calculated from other attributes, like age derived from date of birth or total price. A key attribute uniquely identifies each entity instance within an entity set. They're represented as underlined attributes in entity relationship diagrams. Key attributes must have unique values for each entity instance and cannot be null. Key attributes can be simple or composite, involving multiple attributes together. Weak entities have partial keys known as discriminators. Let's look at the example of student entity. Student ID is the key attribute. For enrollment entity, student ID and course ID are composite key attributes. A relationship is an association between two or more entities. Relationships are represented as diamond shapes in entity relationship diagrams, connected to participating entities by lines. Relationships can have their own attributes and are defined by their cardinality such as one-to-one, one-to-many, or many-to-many. -many. Relationships describe how entities interact with each other. For example, relationship between student and course entities is in roles. Relationship cardinality defines the number of instances of one entity that can be associated with instances of another entity. There are three main types of cardinality. One-to-one, -one, where each entity instance is related to exactly one instance of the other entity. One-to-many, where one entity instance can be related to multiple instances of the other entity. And many-to-many, -many, where multiple instances of one entity can be related to multiple instances of another entity. Consider person has passport, department employs employee and student enrolls course as examples for one-to-one, one-to-many and many-to-many -many relationships respectively. Relationships can have their own attributes that describe properties of the association between entities. These attributes belong to the relationship, not to any single entity. They are particularly useful in many-to-many -many relationships. Relationship attributes are represented as ovals connected to the relationship diamond and capture information about the specific association. For example, consider enrollment relationship between student and course entities. Grade and enroll date are attributes of enroll's relationship. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.